Macron was a victory for hope. That makes the price of failure even higher. It was written in the stars, wasn't it? After Britain voted for Brexit and the states elected Donald Trump, the wave was surely unstoppable. Marine Le Pen would be the next president of France. Easy. Except it didn't happen. Instead, 66% of French voters chose an upbeat young man, not yet 40, who had never held elected office, at the head of a crowd-funded startup barely a year old. A self-confessed centrist who argued that the old left-right divide had failed and that a liberal, open economy with better protections was an opportunity, not a threat. True, a large portion of Emmanuel Macron's votes were, at least partly, votes against Le Pen. But even so, for many, this was a victory for hope. And that's why so much now rests on his shoulders. Because after promising hope, after arguing so persuasively that the answer is not a closed and sterile nationalism, but an open, confident, pro-European patriotism, it has to work and it has to be seen to work. If Brexit and Trump are to be mere Anglo-Saxon aberrations, Macron's reforms will have to genuinely better the lives of the millions who bought Le Pen's claims that immigrants, foreigners, the elite, the EU were to blame for the frustration and anger that they feel. Whether or not Macron succeeds matters not just in France, but all across Europe. Because the factors that drive nation-first populism, immigration, mass unemployment, deindustrialization, voters struggling to make ends meet, terror, the refugee crisis, are everywhere. And they're not going away anytime soon. For the time being, the populist tide has been stemmed. European politicians now know liberal, open, international arguments can convince. The EU now has a chance, maybe its last chance, not to become the doomed scapegoat for a continent's woes. But those who peddle fear, hate and blame, who offer oversimple answers to desperately complicated questions are waiting. And if Macron and those he will certainly inspire blow it, his win will be no victory, merely horror postponed.